Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're going to talk about lifters. One of the biggest obstacles you're going to encounter when you're installing a new camshaft and lifters, especially if the engine is still in the vehicle, is cleanliness. What you're going to notice about a lifter assembly, both flat tappet and roller, is that the oiling hole is extremely small. So much so that if you have a lot of dirt and debris in the motor, one little speck can create a problem when it comes to oiling that lifter. I know a lot of us get in a hurry when removing the old gaskets, silicone, and grime from the intake manifold to cylinder head mating surface. You're scraping the old gaskets and the silicone off, and the next thing you know, all that dirt and debris is getting down into the lifter valley, and some of it inevitably gets left behind. So you start the car, and the oil is now splashing throughout the engine. All that loose dirt and debris makes its way to your lifters, and before you know it, you have a clogged lifter that won't oil properly. Once it stops oiling properly, friction and heat build due to lack of oil, and now you have wear problems, not just at the lobe of the camshaft, but also at the pushrod and rocker arm, all potential points of failure. In the event that you do get some loose debris in the motor, it really is in your best interest to go after it, whether that means getting out the shop vac, if you're lucky enough to see it and retrieve it, or disassemble the motor and flush it out. Now I know that doesn't sound like fun, but it's always best to fix it when you know where that dirt is, then wait till after it has caused a problem, such as a part failure. If you do decide to take the chance and proceed with engine assembly, use your ears. You'll know when a lifter is acting funny. A valve train starved of oil will start making a racket, and the rockers will get noisy. At this point, you'll want to diagnose and rectify the problem as soon as possible hopefully before any permanent damage has occurred. Now you can help avoid being in this situation by taking some simple precautions to keep that dirt and debris from getting into your oil system. The best way to do it is to cover the entire lifter valley with a towel or a piece of plastic. As you're cleaning and scraping the intake manifold mating surface, you want all that debris to land in the towel so that you can lift it all out when you're finished. You want that stuff to end up in your trash can, not your oil pan. When you receive your new lifters, it's recommended that you thoroughly clean them using mineral spirits and then soak them overnight in break-in oil. We know that when the lifters first come out of the box, they have what appears to be oil already on them, but this isn't actually a lubricant. It's only there for rust prevention during shipping and warehousing, so keep that in mind. Another rule is that if you're installing a new flat tappet camshaft, you'll need to use new flat tappet lifters. Never mix old plus new for either component. Both the old cam and old lifters that came out of your motor will have wear patterns in them that are specific to each other. If you try to create new wear patterns in a camshaft using old lifters, it's just not going to work out and will likely be a point of failure in your engine down the road. When it comes to this, sometimes saving a little money isn't worth the trouble in the long run. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. 